Welcome to my tutorial on how to play the trumpet. I am here on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, the home of jazz music. I couldn't think of a more fitting backdrop to teach you about the trumpet. I will be demonstrating for you the parts of the trumpet, proper assembly, proper body and hand playing positions, tips for proper embouchure, and how to play the first five basic notes. C, D, E, F, and G. start, you want to open your case with the smaller half facing up. This will ensure that when you open your case, your instrument will not fall out. Let's quickly go over the parts of the trumpet. Here we have the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece receiver, the lead pipe, the pinky ring, valve 1, valve 2, and valve 3. Then we have our tuning slide and the tuning slide water key. We have our first valve slide and the first valve saddle. We have our second valve. And back here, we have our third valve slide with the ring and our water key. And finally, we have the bell. Assembling a trumpet isn't very tricky. Let's grab the trumpet by the lead pipe and the mouthpiece. Carefully slide the mouthpiece into the mouthpiece receiver and give it a gentle quarter turn so it stays in place. That's it, you're almost ready to play. Quickly, let's go over proper playing position. Posture is important. You want to sit straight on the edge of your chair, keeping your feet flat on the floor. With your right hand, place your pointer, middle, and ring finger on top of the valves. Next, place your thumb between the first and second valves and your pinky on top of the finger hook. Putting your pinky on top of the finger hook allows your valve fingers faster movement. After you have your right hand in place, place your left hand ring finger in the ring with your pinky beside it, but not in the ring. Your middle and pointer fingers of your left hand will go on top of each other between the valve and the ring. Put your left thumb in the first valve saddle to help you grip the instrument. This is your playing position. With your hands in position, you are ready to blow into your mouthpiece. Your first sound might sound something like this. It's okay, try again. Here are for four embouchure or mouth position tips to make your notes sound better. First of all, dampen your lips. This allows you to get a cleaner, crisper, and clearer vibration. Second of all, say M as you put your mouthpiece to your lips. This allows you to get proper mouth position on your mouthpiece. The faster the air and the tighter your lips, the faster your lips vibrate and therefore the higher the sound. Alternatively, blow a steady stream of air for a steady note. Ready to learn your first five notes? In your standard of excellence book, flip to the very back and you'll see a fingering chart. You'll notice that it will display some notes and underneath them some numbers. These numbers, under the notes represent the number of valves you should push down. Let's start with concert B flat, or C. It is open, meaning that no valves are pushed down, and it sounds like this. You want to have your lips fairly loose and firm in the corners. Like all notes, it will take some practice. The next note is D. It uses the same embouchure as C, but this time press down valves 1 and 3. It sounds like this. Next we have note E. For this note, slightly tighten your lips and blow a little harder. While you push down valves 1 and 2. The fourth note is F, which uses the same embouchure as E, no, as the note E, while you press down valve 1. Finally, here is our last basic note to learn. G. Like C, G is played with open fingering and the same embouchure as E and F. With some practice, you can sound like this. In this quick
week tutorial, we learned the parts of the trumpet, proper assembly, proper body and hand playing positions, tips for proper embouchure, and how to play the first five basic notes, C, D, E, F, and G. They sound like this. <laughs> on how to play the trumpet. And if, I hope you get a chance in your lifetime to visit New Orleans, the birthplace of jazz music. You will enjoy it immensely. I know I did. Thank you.